Welcome to our house around the corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zima. We've come to Northern Victoria, to Wedderburn. And when you think of sharing, you think of a family tradition, people raised on the land, father teaching son. The sharing industry is changing. And we've come up here to meet some students from a very special school. The Wedderburn Community Centre here in Wedderburn actually has a certificate degree now in sheep shearing. We're going to be speaking to Dick and some of the students about their amazing journey over the last nine days and a celebration tomorrow as they graduate at a little Learn Local organisation just around the corner. It's good basic training in sheep and wool and because so many of our farmers are old they um, need to be replaced in the workplace and if we can get a group of young enthusiastic shearers that can work with contractors and farm local farmers some of those employment shortages will be overcome. When we use that bit of footwork here see I crept up there I've got to come across with this one and close that bit of a gap with our legs so that the sheep doesn't fall back through. This year has been a great year. We've got 11 wonderful students and they have learned so much in the time. We have three of them staying at our place and we'd forgotten how much fun teenagers in the house were. They are so appreciative of all the work that's being done by the instructors, the volunteers, the caterers. It really is a community effort. See, if you've got your foot in the right spot, so that's under it, shoulder there, she's just going to sit there. It's in her comfort zone, there's no pressure on it, there's no pressure on her tummy. And the next blow on a long blow, just ease your foot back, and she'll gently roll over. You put your next blow in. Welcome to our house around the corner. Yeah, pleasure hey. to be here. Oh, thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah. Now we've come all the way up here to Wedderburn. From? From Melbourne. Oh, yeah. Yes. The, the big smoke. The big smoke. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got an absolutely brilliant sheep shearing pro program going to. Yeah, yeah. It's top. Top yeah. of the range. Yes. Now, how did it actually start? Well, it started about eight or ten years ago. And um, there was an advert come into the paper for, um, to run a shearing school. And our organisation was just getting started. And um, made a few phone calls, went and seen the Lodden neighbourhood house, and the ball started to roll from there. Yep, they sourced us as trainers from, um, we trained for the Shearing Contractors Association of Australia, um, shearing wool handling training. And yeah. So how many trainers do you have in, in your group? Um, approximately eight or ten. Um, we have shearer trainers and wool handler trainers. And we do like shed training and we go out on property and we do farm training as well. So the course that you're working on right now, how long does that course take? Yep, um, goes for 10 days, so two week period, you know, five days, two five day stints. Yeah. And the range of students that you have? Yeah, or well, we can range from 15 to 65. Oh really? We cater for all, yeah. How about that? Yeah, the age limit's no barrier. And when they're done, what do they actually have? Well, they have the qualifications to go out and to initial to get a start working in the shearing in industry. So they might start off as rouseabouts, wool handlers, and some will actually get a learner's pen to start in the shearing industry. And they can travel. They don't have to stay in one spot in the country. They can go to Queensland, New South Wales, Tasmania, and um, we can even we can even point them in the direction to get to overseas, New Zealand, Europe, you know, 
these guys that we have trained sharing around the world at the moment. So how many kids have come through this Learn Local organisation overall? Just at this location, Wedderburn, we'd have trained over 130. The types of skills that you train them, what's, what's the full range? Well, we talk about, we have OH&S, workplace communications, how to animal welfare, how to set up their machinery, grind their combs and cutters, shear sheet to, to novice level, and cert two in wool handling. Okay, after the fleece has been skirted and rolled, the class are then, um, will examine the fleece and make an assessment of it. And the sort of things I'm looking for as to whether it's got a good staple strength. And I'll do that by, by pulling it and giving it a flick with my index finger. And what we're uh, trying to ascertain there is whether it will withstand about seven to nine pounds pressure. After I've done that and it's sound, the sorts of things I look for is the color whether it will scour out white, and that one will. I'm also feeling the wool for the softness so I can estimate the micron of the wool. Shearing school runs on normal shearing shed hours, so 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the afternoon. They come in to us at 7.30 and do theory until 9.30, so they are taken through modules of the sheep and wool handling certificates with the with the trainers and then it's out to the shearing shed where they put into practice um, a morning session where they're shown an, a new skill. They then are worked one-on-one -on -one, um, perfecting the technique they've learned. So then the afternoon is a long afternoon of shearing and learning wool handling skills. So it's um, by the end of the day, some of them will have learned um, a lot of shearing techniques. There are others who will end up working as rouseabouts in shearing sheds and they are practicing the, the shed skills. But by the end of the time, all of them are expected to be um, competent in all aspects of um, shearing. Yeah, I love it. Met some good people and learned a lot and I'm loving it. What's been your favourite bit? Um, well, shearing, that's pretty good. Um, I like painting them up too and just yeah, having a good time really. Your dad's idea for you to come along, was there a reason why? Yeah, we've got a farm at home and we do a fair bit of shearing. It's easy if we can do a few here and there instead of having to call shearers in all the time. Oh, there's a lot of teamwork, there's so many things going on. People helping you here and there and there's just a lot to do in shearing shed. Very, very interesting group this year. They come from middle of Melbourne to the back of Burt. They're a long way apart and they're all very, very keen to try and learn, which makes it very much easier for the instructor. Well, we're at the celebration, the final celebration for the kids. They're graduating from their shearing course. We're here with Gavin Holt, who has um, very kindly donated all the sheep to be sheared, haven't you? Yes. But more uh, than that, this has been a brainchild of yours for many, many years, hasn't it? Oh, not, not, just, not just mine. It's been a, a, a community effort, but certainly I think it was in 2003 um, we, we started the shearing school. I think this would be the tenth one that we've run, um, because one year we did, have, um, we did have two in one year. As, and it was in response to the fact that there were uh, insufficient shearers in Australia to, um, to shear the sheep flock. And so it became, we got an opportunity through a learning program at the local community house to mm -hmm. get some funding to run this shearing school. Um, and this, this is a quite a handy property to run the shearing school because it's on the main highway, it's close to the town, it's, um, it's quite a convenient shed. And so we've, we've run every school here and we we're very proud of the fact that um, we've put a number of shearers out into the Australian shearing industry. Mm. The Wedderburn Community House runs a lot of facilities and services for the local community. We are a Vic Roads agency, so we take, take 15, 16 year olds for their learner's test and they get their learner's permit. We run a range of hobby classes and we also teach certificate classes in IT and general education for adults. The best thing about this Learn Local organisation is that the, we make no distinction between the work done by volunteers and our paid staff. We make no distinction